good afternoon welcome back to my channel so in this video we're going to be talking all about free resources that can be useful to you in your a levels or if you're in sixth form or college there are secret websites and apps that i have used myself free online books free online notes concentration apps and some study apps as well so let's get into it I'll start with A-level chemistry. So this website called Chemrevise, I'll put all of the links down in my description box. They've got succinct notes on everything you need to know for your A-level exams. They've got specific notes for different exam boards. So if you're with AQA at Excel, they've got different notes for you, just so you find them more relevant to you as well. There's this guy right here on YouTube called eRental and he's got succinct videos on everything you need to know for your A-levels. He explains concepts so well in a way that you actually understand. And I loved his channel. Everyone who did chemistry in my sit form use that guy's channel if you're doing a level chemistry i cannot emphasize how much you need this book and that's jim clark calculations in as and a level chemistry he's got so many questions in that book and he also has answers to the questions if you get them wrong explaining how he got to the final answer it was my bread and butter and to this day i think one of the reasons why I got an A in A levels was because of this workbook. I might put a link in my description box if I can find a cheap one, but if I can't, literally just go on eBay and find the cheapest one. It just has to be in a fair condition that you can see the content of the book. It does not have to be new. Also, obviously, make sure that you're using loads and loads and loads of past papers as well. And um, there's some websites you can get this from. You can go onto your exam board's website and they usually um, have past papers that you can download as well. Download them, download the mark schemes, download the exam report guys I can't stress how important exam reports are they're basically telling you what the examiners want you to do and what they don't want you to do like don't stop with past papers and mark schemes go over the exam reports like see what mistakes people made in the last cycle physics and mass tutor is a good website you can use but as always like I said before you can always go onto your um, exam board's website and they should have past papers for you to download moving on swiftly to a level biology first things first how to ace your paper three essays the 25 marker if you do well in that that 25 marker it'll literally shoot your overall grade up if you're struggling to write your a-level biology essay i have a video up here on how to get four marks on a 25 marker so you can refer to that if you need some help with writing your essays a-level biology website also has loads of revision tools and past papers that you could do the explore biology website it presents biology as detective work and focuses on the process of science this website is aimed at advanced students and self-learners moving on to a-level economics there's a guy on YouTube called Econ Plus Dal. He's an examiner and so he knows what he's saying, okay? He goes through loads of topics in a way that you can understand. He'll give you stats to use when it comes to writing your essays and getting those application marks. Economics Online is a very good website to use as well. It has loads of background reading for economic students. It also explains economic concepts and topical news, which you can retrieve some information from and use in your essays if they're relevant to the questions you get in your exams. There's another website called Revision Guru which is a great website if you're studying A-level economics or A-level business studies. Moving on to A-level maths, there's this website called Revision Math. It's great for A-level maths revision resources, online revision tools such as videos. It has loads of exam advice when it comes to maths, also helps you to create your revision timetable. Moving on to the good old physics and maths tutor website. I feel like this website is every student's bread and butter. It's got past papers, revision notes. Physics and maths tutor is a broad website so I know the name says physics and math tutor but they don't just have resources for physics and maths have resources for maths all of the sciences so physics chemistry biology all of that economics psychology and computer science as well so if you do any of these subjects physics and math tutor is a good website to play around Corbett maths is a good website as well has loads of revision tools that you can use if you're studying maths and these resources are free so they vow that the online resources will always be free but if you need to physically print out worksheets, then you might have to pay for that. Maths Jimmy and Maths Made Easy are two more websites that you can use if you're studying maths. They also have things like past papers that you can download. Moving on to physics, obviously, physics and maths tutor is a good one. Again, they have study notes that you can go through as well as past papers. Cyber Physics is a great website, has loads of revision notes. To philosophy and ethics, if you're studying this, there's a guy on YouTube called Mr. Macmillan Revise, and he's got loads of great notes to help you. If you're studying history and politics, then you can use the History Learning site as a website that has got loads of great information for people studying things like history, politics. Moving on swiftly to the languages, if you're studying French, there's this website called French Revision. It has interactive French exercises in learning, reading and writing for A-levels. Website Memorize has free learning resources. 
colours in the form of flashcards and this is for many different subjects but it's best when it comes to learning and um, languages. Duolingo is a great website for studying most of the common modern foreign languages. It includes languages like French, German, Italian, Spanish and many others. The course requires you to write whole sentences and the more popular languages have listening and speaking exercises. I'll now move on to a couple of study apps that you can use, the first one being XMind. It's a free online mind mapping tool. So if you work best by using mind maps, this is a great app for you. You can use the basic version for free, but if you want more components and more flexibility, then there's a paid version available as well. Some schools subscribe to XMind, so check with your school if you have a subscription so you don't have to pay for the extra features. But if your school doesn't, don't worry, you can still use a free version. And finally, to some concentration apps. Get Cold Turkey can be set to block anything from a specific web page to the entire internet. You can also use it to allow exceptions, block applications, or even use it to lock yourself out of your computer. The second one is Self Control, which is an app for Mac users to block distracting websites. So this is it, a couple of online resources you can use, a couple of study apps, concentration apps, some YouTube pages that you can use as well. I took my time when curating this to make sure that it was useful to you guys. I've used some of these, they've really helped me in the past and I still use some of these till this day. So I hope you found it helpful. All the best when it comes to revising and I'll see you in the next one.